Well, hello friends, here we are back again with another unboxing. Uh, quite a few unboxings lately. Um, I'm wearing the Tudor Ranger, which is uh, being a very good experience indeed. Now, now what's in the box? Well, here let's start by finding the way to open the box which I actually don't know here it is now it seems there it goes I don't know ok it's a book ok it's a book no ordinary dog from Will Chesney, use Navy Seal. It seems the Navy Seal that to the beaten laden raid might be interesting to, to read. Here is a picture of the dog. I love dogs. I don't have one, but I love them. Maybe someday I will have. Um, yeah. Okay, this is. Uh, goody and here is the hopefully here is the watch here is the invoice okay. leave it here so I don't lose it now we can move this away card box out well you know from the description what it is and well here it is immediately here is the watch brand new this is the Ben Roos 3061 from uh, this uh, was made famous by the movie Bullet with Steve McQueen. This is inspired. This is the civil version of a military watch of the era. Back in the day, it was I think it was 33, 33 millimeters. This one is thirty nine point five. I will measure it in the review. First, take the plastic. It actually doesn't look that big I, I, w I thought it would appear bigger to me than I was quite hesitant about the watch but the moment I found it existed I, I knew that, that I had to have it it's acrylic crystal something that I really wanted to have ever since I sold the Laurier and I'm right now what I can say is that actually I I like how it looks. I'm already making it dirty. Cloth to clean the dial. It's also the se the first time that I have a strap like this one. Okay, it's a military watch, so I don't know if it does make a lot of sense to have this type of uh, strap, but well, just another strap. It's only 50 meters water resistant. It's automatic, 38 hours power reserve. Let's see if it starts ticking. Yeah, there it goes. I'm going to wind it a little bit. Not very smooth. It's a push pull crown with hacking. And it's uh, yeah, it's six o'clock, so let's put it in time. Right now. So in comparison, 
actually I think it looks smaller than the than the Ranger basically I think because of uh, how busy the dial is in in this one very nice I'm going to put it on well, first we can see it see them side side by side they are roughly the same diameter case but as you can see this is taller well, I, I, I think it's basically the same height but different shape this looks thinner for the way it's designed different designs but similar size so they appear quite different one from each other I really wanted to have one of these type of watches the first watch that I got when I got back into this hobby was a Hamilton khaki field automatic it was 42 millimeters and at the moment I didn't realize that it was a little bit too big for what I wanted so this one although it's not that far away from the size I think it it looks better and for me I mean that's the way I, I like and I'm going to try it on the buckle is nice it's strong yeah I think it I was worried about the size but I like it 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 was very thin way thinner than than I expected and about the size I think it's it's a rather good size well this is now for the unboxing I will make a review of course of the watch as soon as I get more time with it not just a few minutes three minutes it's marking and well these are my two latest acquisitions and I thought I wouldn't buy anything well thank you very much for watching stay tuned for next the next videos I will make and let's make a closer look here And we'll see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.